Hi, everyone. Welcome to the Anxiety 101 series, a part of Seattle Children's Impact Project. My name is Kendra Reed, and I'm a clinical psychologist. In this video, we're going to be talking about what anxiety is and what to do about it. So the first thing I always want people to know about anxiety is that it is a totally normal and adaptive or helpful feeling. This is the feeling that helps get our bodies ready to respond to situations that might be dangerous or threatening, right? So this is the feeling that helped our ancestors run away when they were being chased by like, lions and tigers and bears. And it's also the feeling that would help keep us safe if we were in that same situation or more likely helps us keep us helps keep us from say like walking into traffic. Um, so it's a super helpful feeling that can even motivate us to do everyday things like study for the test that we have coming up. But anxiety can also become a problem, right? It can grow to be too big for the situation and start to get in the way of things that we need to do and things that we want to do. So it's kind of like a smoke alarm that's going off when there's no fire, right? So it's an alarm that's going fire, 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 emergency, but there's no fire. There's no emergency. You're in math class or someone said hi to you. So arguably not emergency situations. What I would also want people to know is that this is an incredibly common problem for people to have. It's one of the most common reasons why people call our department. And it's also a problem that we know about a lot about how to change and help people with. Um, so throughout this video, you're gonna hear me use the word anxiety. Um, and I would consider that to be a synonym for other words that you might use at home, like fear, worry, nervousness. So as you hear us use the word anxiety throughout this series, just know that, that we mean the same thing that you do when you might say worry or nervousness or fear, or maybe some other words. So in this um, video series, we're going to be talking about cognitive behavioral therapy. And so first, I just wanted to go over the cognitive behavioral therapy model of anxiety. So cognitive behavioral therapy looks at how thoughts, feelings, and behaviors are all related to each other in a cycle. So <clears throat> for example, if you hear that you're going to an amusement park for fun, and you think... I love roller coasters. You're probably going to be feeling excited, happy, right? And you might even then go ride the roller coasters, sit in the front car, ride as many as you can. And all of that would feed back to the next time you hear you're going to an amusement park when you think, that was so much fun, I can't wait to do it again. But if you hear you're going to an amusement park and you think, what if I die on the roller coaster? you might start feeling really scared or nervous or anxious. And what happens when people start to feel scared or nervous or anxious is that a lot of times they start to avoid the things that make them feel that way. So they avoid going on the roller coaster. They might even avoid going to the amusement park altogether. And all of that would feed back to the next time that they hear they're going to an amusement park when they think, I can't do it. I can't do roller coasters. I can't cope with the anxiety of roller coasters. I can't stay safe. So what we help people do um, using cognitive behavioral therapy is we help people change the way that they think about situations when they feel anxious and change what they do in situations when they feel anxious in order to change how they feel over time. When people come to see us, they, what tends to have happened is that people have tried to control the events in the cycle, right? They've tried to start avoiding all the situations that might possibly cause anxiety. And this tends to be a trap, um, mostly because we just can't control all of the situations that happen in our lives, right? We're just not that powerful. So anxious, anxiety provoking things just keep popping up. And it also does us, a, does us a disservice because it doesn't allow us to have new learning experiences where we can learn that, hey, that bad thing just doesn't happen as much as I might expect it to. Or even when hard things happen, we can cope with them more than we think we can. So what we help people do is we help people move from a cycle of avoidance, which you see on the left, to a cycle of approach, which you see on the right. So in the cycle of avoidance, in this example, you see that someone sees a dog, they feel scared, 
they cross the street, the anxiety that they feel initially immediately comes down. But over time, their anxiety about dogs increases because they just, you know, dogs are often in my neighborhood, probably yours as well. Um, we can't predict every time that we're going to see a dog. And our anxiety about being able to cope with dogs, um, our cope with anxiety about dogs continues to increase, right? And we haven't had new learning opportunities around those events. So instead, what we help people do is approach the things that make them feel anxious or scared. So people see a dog, they feel scared because nothing about this is magic, right? They still feel scared. They stay put and allow the dog to pass. Maybe the dog sniffs your pants, right? Anxiety will likely increase in the moment. But over time, the more you have experiences like this, anxiety decreases because you have new opportunities to learn, hey, I can cope with this. The dogs aren't usually as bad as I think they're going to be. And actually, I can cope with hard things. I can cope with the anxiety that I feel in that moment. So even if I'm at like a 9 out of 10 feeling anxious when that dog passes by, I can still stay put and reach my goal. And that is a really important learning opportunity in order to cope with anxiety. Well, thank you for joining us for this first video in the Anxiety 101 series. Be sure to check out the Seattle Children's website for more impact project videos.